Theme Studio includes templates for product pages, blogs, collections, and more. All customizable to your needs and designed to help you build faster while driving more conversions. In addition to the included templates, Theme Studio also provides the ability for users to create their own custom pages. In this guide, we'll show you how to create a custom landing page in less than five minutes, sharing our best practices and some useful tips. Let's dive in. On the left sidebar, you'll see a bunch of available theme pages. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can select new custom page. Let's give the page a name. And we're gonna start from scratch. So we'll select a blank template. From here, it'll take us directly into the Builder Visual Editor, where we can start building our page. You'll see your header and footer carries over to all your new pages, so you don't have to worry about recreating it for each individual page. Let's start by adding a hero image to the page by dragging and dropping an image component. Feel free to adjust the aspect ratio by using the blue outline around the component if you want the image to be larger or smaller. On top of the image, let's drag a set of columns. On each side, I'm going to add a button, and these will serve as calls to action, such as shop men's, shop women's. The beauty of using builder components is that they are responsive by default. As you get to smaller screens, the columns begin to stack vertically and look great on every device. To learn more about responsive design, check out our video, Intro to Responsive Design with Builder. Using the alignment tools at the top of the style tab, you can reposition the buttons. Feel free to utilize the rest of the styling features to adjust the look and feel. Let's drag another column component below our hero image, and we'll add a product box to the left side column delete our placeholder image and text. This element is dynamically tied to Shopify data. So as you add products to your Shopify store, they'll be available in Builder as well. Select the product you want to display. In the right column, we'll delete our placeholder image and add a description of the product on the right. Now let's make some styling adjustments. Again, in the Style tab, under Alignment, we'll center our text. Next, let's adjust the product image to be smaller, which can be achieved easily with columns by dragging the middle divider to the desired size. This is also a great tip for responsive design. Now that we have a product box that looks exactly how we want, the first thing to do is check that the design looks great on all device sizes. You should always check the device previews throughout the page building process to avoid any unexpected final results in other views. In fact, it looks like we need to adjust this image. I'm going to give it a minimum height of 200 pixels for mobile. That looks a little bit better. And my button is a little too close to this paragraph, so I'm going to add some margin. Perfect. Definitely an improvement. Any style changes you make to mobile view will only affect mobile devices or smaller. Clicking the drop down arrow of this element, you can save it as a template and make it reusable. Templates save you time by having to create less components and keep your styles consistent from page to page. On the left sidebar, under My Templates, you can grab your saved templates and drag it down onto the page. You can change out the image to a different product, and done. Don't forget to change the description as well. Now that we've finished our custom page, you can schedule it to go live, or even target to specific audiences. And that's it! That's how simple it is to create a custom page in Builder.